Yak laser capsulotomy is a treatment that we employ for about 10% of patients who've undergone cataract surgery and then develop a film behind the plastic lens implant, sometimes months or even years after um, successful surgery. The procedure typically involves somebody sitting on a slit lamp or microscope as they would normally for an examination and usually takes a few minutes after we've dilated the pupil and instilled some anesthetic drops. We would often use a small contact lens to help focus the laser beam in order to make a small aperture behind the lens implant and to get rid of the posterior capsule for pacification. A small degree of pacification may not be noticed by the patient or their optometrist. If, however, it's becoming visually significant again, this usually manifests in a way that is similar to the cataract coming back, even though it has not, then we would consider the laser capsulotomy. The risks from this procedure are fairly low, but they would include a small risk of causing inflammation or a high pressure spike in the eye. We would typically give some drops for a few days afterwards to mitigate this. You can damage the lens itself, uh, or even in very rare circumstances, destabilize the lens, but that would be highly unusual. Or one can develop um, um, macular edema or swelling after the procedure or indeed damage to the retina itself should it be um, fired in, a, in an unusual pattern. In reality, these risks are quite small, but they would be things that we would counsel people for prior to undertaking the laser procedure itself. The other major risk that people would have is the development of floaters. Floaters can um, often be exaggerated after the procedure because it disrupts the jelly within the eye or it can, in the process of unmasking the vision again, reveal the, the floaters that pre-existed. Any sudden shower of floaters, flashing lights, or shadows in the vision would need urgent attention to rule out any damage to the retina or the development of an early retinal detachment. The laser capsulotomy recovery is typically quite fast. Normally when the pupil comes down back to a normal size again, people would be expected to start seeing usually from the first day. We would usually send people home um, with some drops for a few days after the uh, procedure. And there isn't typically any particular um, advice that we would give people other than the ones concerning um, changes in vision or floaters that would cause concern, essentially. In terms of driving, people uh, would normally be recommended to get a lift by some means, in particular, as we dilate the pupil in order to facilitate the laser treatment.